Well, hello there. It's Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube. And today I'm going to be making a book because I want to do a Lenten study this year. And I wanted something to do it in other than just doing Bible journaling pages every day. I just want to do something a little smaller since it's a daily. And I found this website that has a list of scriptures, 40 ways to know Jesus better. They're in alphabetic order, but I'm going to switch them around and just do whatever the Lord calls me to do each day. But I want to study these in a particular way from a, a different perspective that I'll talk about a little later in this video. But you can click on the download button down there. It'll take you to a PDF, and the PDF is much more printable than that whole page. So you can just have this tucked in your Bible and use it as reference and check off any of the scriptures as you read them. But I'm going to be making the sketchbook for myself, the little journal, because I happened to go to church last week. I told you I picked up my book that I did my page of last week, and I happened to be in the building when they started an outbreak of COVID. We have a bunch of staff who've tested positive, including my pastor. So yeah, there's um, the one time that I went there in a year is when they had a COVID outbreak. So I'm quarantining. Instead of buying a sketchbook and going to the store, I stayed home and I'm making mine out of a piece of watercolor paper because I have lots of that. It's a 22 by 30 sheet. It's really big and it, it doesn't fit on my camera. And so unfortunately I can't show you every square inch of it, but there is a PDF down below that shows you how to do it. You basically fold the sheet of paper in half and then in half again, both directions. That gives you a grid of 16 squares. And then there's a pattern that you can tear the two sides of it, the two outside uh, folds, and then you tear the middle one from the opposite end. And what that does is give you one long strip of zigzag paper that just goes back and forth, because then you can fold all that into a book. In order to get the folds to tear kind of nicely the way mine are, just use a bone folder or something to really make nice scores, make them nice and crisp so that the paper folds. You can use other sizes of paper, other kinds of paper, drawing paper, whatever, and the size of the big sheet will determine the size of your finished book. The big one from this watercolor paper is five and a half by seven and a half. And you could choose whether or not you want to make a cover for it or you just want to leave your book this way. And what paper you use is up to you, what kind of mediums you're going to use on it. With watercolor paper, it's pretty heavy, so I can use a lot of different things on it. You could also glue a panel onto something and do it on another paper that works and glue it in here. Lots of different options. And if you're a scrapbooker, you could scrapbook, you can do family photos in here, etc. But I'm going to put a cover on mine. And this book, since there's 16 panels and you have two sides of it, that's 32, but there's 40 days in Lent. So there's going to be eight days when you either need to make a pocket and add a tag for it if you want to do something for each day. And then if you add the cover, you take away two more. So you'll just add other little things. Or sometimes stuff happens and you don't get artwork done in a particular day. It's a good reason to not put the pressure on yourself to have to do something every single, single, single day. Well, next up is putting my cover on. I'm using some double stick tape. This is Be Creative tape, sometimes called score tape, and it's nice and heavy and super sticky. And I've cut my covers bigger than the book, so then the book is gonna open both ways. So it's gonna flip one direction and flip the other. And there are these kind of weird panels underneath where just because of the folding, it does this weird thing. You could make some pockets out of those if you want to add a bunch of tags in, all different kinds of things you could do. The cover, you can, of course, decorate any way you wish. My original thought was to use some Daniel Smith watercolor grounds on this. This watercolor grounds comes in different colors. There's a white and a cream and a gold, a black, a translucent. I forget what the others are, but it makes any surface watercolorable. So if you want to paint on something, all you have to do is cover it with this stuff and you can watercolor. And I originally was going to use some of my shimmery watercolors and I changed my mind. That's just what happens to me when I start making things. I think, oh, I want to use this. Oh, wait, no, I want to use that. So uh, while I was letting this dry, one of the things I came across in my stash of crafty things was a stencil that I haven't used. I bought it, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I think. 
and it's by Alexandra Renke. It's a German company. I've never used it. So I thought, okay, I will use it. And I got out some of my gold Pebeo paint and an applicator that has a foam tip on the end, this little foam pad, so that that gold paint can go right through all of those little holes in the stencil and create a beautiful design. I'll include links to any of the supplies that I can still find. Most of the stuff that I'll be using if I do any mixed media stuff is very old because I haven't bought supplies for a lot of that kind of thing in a long time. So if it's not available, I apologize for that. I have recently changed all of my descriptions in my YouTube videos, by the way, to a generic list of my supplies for Bible journaling because really I use the same stuff all the time. So I cleaned up all the broken links that were there my apologies to anybody who found broken ones for quite some time now for several months, but those should be all cleaned up to at least have my, my wonderful generic list of all the things I use all the time. So I'm using that applicator to add a little strip of gold onto my book as well. And once all that dried, I added scripture to it and took a gold pen and wrote out a bunch of verses from John chapter three, which of course is perfect for Valentine's Day. And the, the tact that I want to take in studying these scriptures is all about how much I love Jesus. And each one of those scriptures, what I want to look at them for is why I love him for being that, for being the Passover lamb, for being the redeemer, for being the provider, the advocate, all of those things on that list. And I want to journal what, what impact that has on my life why I'm grateful for it, how it saved me, and why I love him for being all of those wonderful things. Sometimes we can take scriptures that are just ones that are super familiar. There's lots of really familiar ones on that list. And we think, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll think about a sermon that I heard five years ago that was really impactful instead of what is he saying to me right now? What is something new that he can teach me through this verse? And that's really where I want to go with him during this season is to spend this time preparing my heart for Easter by getting to know him in the here and now and not just thinking about things I learned years ago about those scriptures, but but how how do I think about them right at this moment? So I added the paint for my giant heart and decided to finger paint it because that seemed like it would be a fun thing to do, <laughs> crazy as it is, and then got out of course, a couple other colors of paint to add little details onto my design. Whatever you decide to do, if you want to join me in this, feel free to. You can scrapbook, you can uh, watercolor, you can doodle, you can do whatever you want. Have fun with your stickers. Anything at all works. But the scriptures on that list, I'm going to do in random order. So it may or may not suit, you know, doing it along with me necessarily, but we'll all be working from the same list of scriptures. So if you decide to share that in our Facebook group, be sure to let everybody know that you're doing the Lenten study. And also, I'm going to be sharing each of my pages, I hope, knock on wood, I'm going to do it each day. And I will also share any downloadables that I can create from them. So if there's an image of something, I have a couple of them that I had images for in my head as soon as I looked at that list, then I will create downloadables for them and post them along with that page in the Facebook group. And then each Sunday, I'll come back here and I'll create one page here for that week. And I will, um, I'll have the downloadables for all of the ones that I get to show you from that week. So you'll get to see everything, even if you're not on Facebook, because I know lots of people don't do Facebook and that is perfectly fine. So I will keep you up on what I'm doing. And I hope that that is something that you'll join me in because I think it's gonna be a good study. So I decided to add some of the paint onto a piece of cardstock so that would match the rest of my page. And I used some dimensional adhesive, this little foam tape stuff, and made a bridge so it wouldn't glue on top of that big wet heart because it's going to take a long time to dry. And then I added this text for the, the cover for this. And I'm going to call my book The One I Love. And your, your title can be whatever you want, but I want this book to all be about him and how much I love him. And I thought this would be a good tie-in for both Valentine's Day, but it gave me a good impetus for 
what this study might be for the next couple of weeks until Easter. So I thought that would be great. I did write the words first in a pen because I do better writing with, with a pen in my hand than I do with a brush and then went over it with the paint because I tried writing it in paint and that was an impossible thing to do. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Some things I am just not gifted in. So there is my lovely book cover. And if you are somebody who's going to join me in this, please do. And let me know in the comments if you're going to be able to do it, but maybe not on our Facebook group. If you're going to do it on Instagram or something, then tag me so I can see what you're creating for each one of these verses. And you can do them in whatever order you would like as well. I will see you again next week. Please be praying for my church and our COVID outbreak that everybody gets healed up really quickly. And I will see you again in seven short days. Take care. Bye-bye.